Hi everyone and welcome to the first edition of Painting with Elise. Um, I'm really excited to be able to share my love of watercolour with you. I finally got myself organised with a proper stand for videoing and oh my gosh what a difference it makes. So um, hopefully um, I will hear from you guys about what you would like to learn about watercolour. Maybe there's a specific technique that you'd like to get better at. Um, Maybe there's a style of painting that you've seen me do that you'd like to know um, a bit more about. Um, and uh, maybe you want to know more about how what paints I use, um, my setup. Anything at all you want to know about watercolour and painting, just you know, send me some um, comments and I'll be more than happy to um, share those things with you. So... First of all, I just thought I'd show you some of the work that I've done recently and maybe a bit further back too, but sort of gives you an idea about the kind of thing I like to do. So um, at the moment, my real passion is um, painting birds and especially birds, uh, seabirds or coastal birds with their beautiful reflections in the water. So um, this is a, a painting I did of um, an oyster catcher and this is from a photo um, that was I used with permission by a um, gentleman named Noel Chignall um, on uh, the Birds of Auckland Facebook group and uh, he was very kind to allow me to paint the photo that he took and um, I just love this action this is put his beak down into the water just to try and get that uh, little bit of food down there and so I've used a lot of uh, masking fluid here and as you can see I just masked out a lot of those whites and then just added the hint of shadow of the waves as I went so that's one painting I've done fairly recently. As you can see, it's not framed because we're in lockdown and everything's shut. Uh, this is another seabird picture. This is a little dotterel and they're just the most adorable little birds. And this is a photo taken from a photo I took up at um, Omaha Beach, up the north of Auckland, New Zealand. And... <clears throat> What I love about it is, again, the reflections, that bit of light hitting his little head there. And this is actually a composite photo. So this is a photo I had of the bird, and then I had this photo of the water. So I put the two together to make a, a good composition here. But I just really, really love this, this kind of painting. This is just like... Like the bee's knees to me. Love that. <clears throat> okay, what else have we got here? Oh, this is another bird painting I did of um, gannets in their very iconic kind of kissing pose. And uh, I really enjoyed doing the background and just making that quite loose and, and textured. Um, I did that by dropping in a lot of water while it was sort of in that damp stage so you get kind of the cauliflowering that you're normally trying to avoid with watercolour but in this instance I was trying to um, maximise on those qualities that watercolour can do and uh, yeah so that was something I did and what else have we got on um, these are sort of my landscape pictures that I like to do which are often a lot looser and uh, this is one I did at a demonstration at the Howick Art Group exhibition. And this is a view um, of Howick Beach early one morning. And the light just streams on the wet sand at low tide and just absolutely gorgeous. And you can see it was raining in the distance. So, yeah, that's uh, one I did there. This is actually sold. <clears throat> um, this is a similar one I did on plain air as well when I was on location and again I'm always drawn to strong light on the water and beautiful clouds and 
just things that add atmosphere to an otherwise pretty average scene. Um, this is a painting I did from up near Matakana um, and I again I just as you'll probably get from me I just love water and reflection so wherever there's something reflecting on that's what I've, I'm really drawn to. <clears throat> Uh, this is a painting I did from a photograph I took early one morning up uh, up the north in Northland, right at the top of New Zealand, in Doubtless Bay, um, Fatafifi, I think it was called the beach. Um, but yeah, that just beautiful pink light was shining that morning. It was just glorious. And this is another painting I did quite a while ago. I just love that rusty roof and and just putting in a bit of texture down here of that, that nice old barn. So, yeah, these are some of the things that I like to paint. Um, what do you like to paint? I'd love to hear about what you like to paint. And um, hopefully I can do more of these videos and we can really share this journey and passion for all things watercolour. Alright, thanks and see you next time.